what's going on guys MOT here and welcome to another video in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can increase your internet speed uh, increase your download upload speed and reduce latency using an app called speedify so what this app actually does is it combines your Wi-Fi and cellular data together to offer you that improved performance um, and we're going to be testing it out in this video as well uh, but before that I'm going to show you guys how my Wi-Fi and cellular data performs before uh, I run the app so I'm going to do a speed test So it looks like my download speed is a little under uh, 5 Mbps. And uh, my upload speed is a little less than 10 Mbps. Uh, and my ping is 12 ms uh, with a little bit of loss, which is not that bad. Um, and let's see how my uh, data performs as well. So I'm going to go back, speed test. So the latency on uh, my data service is a little bit higher at 35 ms. And I do get slightly higher uh, download speeds as well at 12 Mbps. However, compared to my Wi-Fi, the upload speeds are less than 3 Mbps. And now let's see what happens when I enable Speedify. Now, one thing to note is um, the Speedify app actually has a paid version and a free version. Uh, the free version is limited to just two gigabytes per month. Um, but in the video, I'm just testing it out with the free account. And I'm gonna enable the Wi-Fi as well. And um, the app does has a lot of options as well. Uh, it uses a VPN and you can select uh, what kind of VPN you want, the fastest one, or you can go by location as well. Um, or if you want a torrent friendly server, you can do that as well. Um, another interesting option it offers is to let you choose which one, which network should be a priority or primary. Uh, in certain cases, people want to use their uh, cellular data as a primary. In my case, uh, my Wi-Fi is unlimited, but my data is not, so I'm going to choose Wi-Fi as the primary. And I can even set the uh, daily data caps. Um, similar with cellular, I can choose the priority um, and set the data caps as well. Um, it does have some advanced options as well, um, like bonding mode. Uh, do you want speed or do you want uh, it to be a little bit more redundant? And also the transport mode. So in case you want uh, your data to be a um, bit more secure, you can choose HTTPS always. Uh, I've just set it to auto. And uh, another thing is the DNS service. So right now it just set to auto, but uh, 
you can set it out manually as well uh, where you can select Google Cloud Flare Open DNS uh, in case you plan to choose on your own you can actually uh, do a DNS speed test and that will help you uh, know which one you should be using so in right now the suggested one for me is quad 9 uh, but I'll just set it to auto for now and now uh, since the service is on we can actually do a speed test as well so 12 and a 3 for my uh, 3G LTE sorry 3G service and let's see what happens when I combine both of them So as you guys can see, the uh, download speed is somewhere in the middle. Uh, it's definitely higher than what I just had on the Wi-Fi. Um, so as you guys can see now, uh, previously Wi-Fi just had 4.5 free and now with the combined it's little less than the 3G but it's at 9.45 and the upload speed is also a uh, lot more higher um, I'm just gonna try to do the speed test again um, just to confirm if everything is optimized now So it looks like it takes the app like a little bit of time to pick up and figure out what's going on. But but the results are definitely better than uh, the first time. And as you guys can see, uh, the, com the combination or merging uh, seems to be a lot more better uh, than the individual connections now let's go back and see in the app itself uh, how it was actually working out you can actually see the statistics as well um, and as you guys can see it actually combined uh, cellular and Wi-Fi which is re represented really well with the graph Um, I can also see how much of my Wi-Fi and cellular data was used uh, it's doing a monthly and daily uh, breakdown which is very useful and as uh, I had set in my settings to use Wi-Fi as the primary um, it looks like it did use a lot more Wi-Fi than my cellular data um, um, Let's see what the last option is. So the last option is um, connection quality. And it looks like the latency on my cellular data is a lot more than my Wi-Fi. And that might be the reason why it was taking a little bit more time for the download to pick up. Now in case you're gaming, um, it, it makes perfect sense to use Speedify. Uh, or if you're downloading as well because you can uh, take advantage of the low latency offered by the Wi-Fi and in certain cases you might have a really fast uh, unlimited data plan on your phone uh, the loss in my case seems to be 0% which is very good 
uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to give this app a full five stars. It's very useful. Uh, and in case you guys want to use it out, um, yeah, feel free. Um, do let me know how the app performs for you. And I hope you guys find this video very useful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.